Hey you beautiful people, welcome back to another Paragon video. It has uh, been a little while. I have been grinding away on Destiny and I am finally back to the beautiful and wonderful Paragon. Alright, so we're going to get stuck into Mr. Steel. As you can see, he doesn't do much damage. Uh, he's got pretty low skill power. He has a very good durability. Okay, so we, uh, we know that he's going to be tanky. We're going to work towards a little bit of tanky. I'm not a huge fan of running steel as just a full-on tank. Even though I know it works really, really well. Because um, he's an absolute beast with his abilities. He's really good at supporting. And the longer you can keep him alive, the better. Blah, blah, blah. I know that. But it's boring. Uh, steel was clearly the first fighter that I used. Uh, because he is the recommended beginner. Okay, so we'll look at his abilities quickly. So he's got he got his punch. You then have the uh, let me just make that bigger so I can read everything properly. Yeah, you have your shield block, which gives you extra physical and energy armor for five seconds, which uh, gets stronger as you level it up. You have your charge your charge forward forward over twelve fifteen units, dealing hundred damage, which also gets better. Then you have your force shield, which uh, gives the enemy that passes through it a minus 80 max movement speed, and then your lovely shield slam, which is uh, which is pretty decent as an ultimate. Actually, it does a lot of damage, stuns for a little bit, gets stronger and stronger as it goes along. Can also be used as a second evade, okay, along with your charge. So generally, I start with uh, with my charge. You do want to prioritize shield slam when you get it, so I'll do my charge, prioritize my shield slam whenever I can and then uh, so then it's charge, force shield and uh, shield block last obviously doing your ultimate whenever you can alright so uh, we're just going to go into this really dodgy deck I'm going to tweak it as we go um, so I'm starting off with the Warlord. Uh, I just like to be able to do a little bit of extra damage on this build. As I said, it's not fully tanky. Okay, so there is a lot of garbage in here. Um, two Adamant Edges, two Amulet of the Veterans, a Brawler's Key, a Brawler's Ward, Steelcutter's Gem, and then our uh, Armor in the way of Ether Weave Mesh and Quantum Casing. Okay, so we start off with the Amulet of Veteran and then the uh, Brawler's Key if necessary. Both these are going to be six point cards. The Amulet of the Veteran with uh, two le lesser health and a minor strike. I would, I would probably recommend that uh, you just go all lesser health on that. And the Brawler's Key, I would have put all minor strikes on the Brawler's Key as well, except for we are using a six point Brawler's Ward. So, and I only have uh, the four minor strikes. So, I would have rather put them on the Brawler's Key, because otherwise there's no point having it as a 6 point card. Okay, then we have an Adamant Edge with a Major Strike, Health and Minor Strike. An Adamant Edge with a Major Strike, Health and Lesser Health. Okay, uh, uh, as I said before, I don't have Minor Strikes to play with, so I'd rather have that Lesser Health change to a Minor Strike. We have a Steel Cutter's Gem for Penetration and Mana, with uh, what I've think is probably a little bit shitty because there's no point having all that mana uh, so we'll probably just go for a 3 two, one with all pierce yeah no, yeah 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 okay so we've got we're probably not even going to use that okay but if we have to it's there I want to be a brawler on this uh, I want to be a little bit tanky and be a brawler then we have an amulet of the veteran as a 12 point card with major strike, greater health, greater health. Okay, so this is going to be another three 12 point card. Uh, sorry, this is going to be a two 12 point card. Is it now? No. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a three 12 point card deck. Three 12s, two nines, one six. Okay, so we have both of our, uh, our Aether Weave Mesh and our Quantum Casing with two, two guards and a chrono, or two barriers and a greater barriers and a chrono. Okay, so you want six points of armor in there because you're good a bit of armor 
and it also ends up giving you 15% cooldown reduction for each one so you end up with a nice bit of armor and really good amount of cooldown reduction good amount of health damage uh, and a couple of six point cards to choose from okay so you can run you're definitely going to run your amulet of the veteran as a 12 point card uh, your two armors and then you have you have some options okay so you've got two nine point cards to choose from you can either go for your two adam and edges uh, or an adam and edge and a steel coast gem uh, as i said like I'm, I'm at a loss for what I can actually use, so I couldn't switch that one to a lesser health. I couldn't put a, a minor strike on the other one if I wanted to. Um, like it's all generally up to you. You can change a little bit of whatever you want. I mean, like I said, with the Adam and Edge, you can either get rid of the minor strike on one and put a lesser health on, or you can get the lesser health off of the other one and put a minor strike on. Uh, but then you just you just have a nice a nice decent build um, of as I said three nine point cards two twelve two nine point cards three twelve point cards okay so you're either choosing uh, physical penetration and damage and health or you're picking just two damage and health and then you have um, obviously you're not going to use this key as your six point card this is you are getting rid of this okay and uh, as I said, I would have put strikes on it. All right, so that's just a throwaway card in the end. Um, but that is the build, all right? So uh, give it a play around. It is a beginner character. He's a bit underrated. Everyone just uh, flogs him off because he's a beginner character. But he's actually a very, very good character, a really good support character. One of my favorite characters in the game, my top five. Um, so give him a go if you haven't already. Uh, I just figured we'd cover a beginner hero considering the amount of brand new players that I'm seeing on the game at the moment. Uh, so if you are a beginner, you're not gonna probably not gonna have Ether Weave Mesh or Quantum Casing, but uh, once you get them, they have absolutely brilliant cards, so you use them. Okay, but I hope that was uh, helpful. Please try the deck out. Uh, give it a go because steel is so boring as a tank uh, I hope you're having fun on the game. Thank you so much for watching. Please like comment subscribe and all that good stuff and uh, I will catch you in the next one